It was amazing. We feel so refreshed and new and youthful and young again. My relationship with my father is very important. <laughs> <laughs> That abrupt transition was so fucking funny to me, dude. Yo, what's cracking, guys? You read that title correctly. I actually have no idea how I'm going to title this. But I was, like, looking through the videos I could make fun of. And then I watched, like, 10 seconds of this. And my eyes lit up. The title of this is The Twin Life Super Trailer. It's Darcy and Stacy's old TV show they were on. This was posted 13 years ago. They do not look like this at all. The change is drastic. Almost cartoon-like. Like if you were to make a caricature of the women we're about to see, you know how they draw them with huge lips and shit? This is going to be insane. Like I clicked through and I heard Darcy saying something about her husband who's a rapper. I'm like, oh my God, this is good. She was married? <laughs> so let's hop right into this shit. Hopefully you guys are liking the longer videos. It seems like it. So thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys to all the new people who subscribed. It truly means the world. So let's take a look at the old Darcy and Stacy, the real them, before they morphed into two sex dolls. I'm Darcy. And I'm Stacy. We're two busy moms and wives who dream of making and showbiz. Oh, and did I mention we're twins and we live under one roof? Well, that's a crazy different vibe already. Them both being married and them now. There's always a double dose of drama in our world. Wow, look at this ugly fucking family. Is this guy even alive? Welcome to the twin life. Fuck! They even did the twin thing back then. I shouldn't be surprised that they're annoying. We're about to see our kids. We haven't seen them in a couple days. We've been so working in the city. Well, that's a different tune. I've literally never heard them say that in any of the clips we've done of them recently. Oh, I haven't seen my kids in a while. I'm so excited to see them. When I bring up they have kids, people go, they do? What? I, actually, I didn't know Stacy had kids. Somebody should look into this. Are those kids dead? Quite a long time for yeah. us to be away from, you know, the cuties. <laughs> nope. Nope, nope, yep, yep, hello? Hey doc, perfect timing, yes, vasectomy, run it. Can you do it like a, through a drive-thru? Do I have to come in or can I just pull up and put my asshole out the window? So, Miss so really much. anxious to get back and give them their hugs and- Look at them, still ugly, but people, wow. They're like showing emotion when their faces move. You know, I wonder if I just saw them, if I could predict they were going to get crazy plastic surgery. I wonder if it shows. I mean, if you're going to be on a TV show and have a reality television show with you and your children, you'll probably do anything to stay in the spotlight. Lots of loving. And when we come home, it's the best feeling. <laughs> Any woman in my life gets one time. She can do that once. And it... Better be for a gift I get her. And if she makes that noise again, I will start fucking guys. I see where the kids get it from. I'm getting angry. Them running up to us, hugging us. Mommy, you're home. We love you. Hello, my baby. In this, she's like trying to be a good mom on the camera. And in the new episodes of Darcy and Stacey, she's like, oh, penis. Oh. Patty cake, patty cake. Sweet Ellie. Okay, turn over. Patty cake. Patty cake. It's so loud in there. I don't want a family. Also, that looks like a nice house. Y'all have had money, huh? People have said their dad is like a millionaire. I believe it. You better have a rich dad with wearing that fedora. That takes a lot of white confidence. And Darcy and I bedrooms kind of match. When you see her bathroom, she basically designed everything. Oh, you guys match your bathrooms? Wonder what else you're gonna match with later in life. Oh, everything? You're both gonna leave your spouses, both gonna act like you don't have kids. You're both gonna have huge tits soon. Like an extra 20 pounds each. You know, very unique, eclectic -y, very retro, and yeah. glam at the same time. It's like you could see Darcy in there. There's like a remnant of the future Darcy in there. Like Darcy now has twice the face of this Darcy. The same, similar. What's with all the pillows? 
There's so many pillows. Take all those pillows off before you get in the bed. Who is this for? It's kind of went overboard with the pillows, but. And I'm probably gonna, like, gonna be like, whatever. What I house? like sparkles. My bathroom. Oh yeah, also the person who sent me this did warn me that it's probably boring. We're a minute and 30 seconds in and I'm like, fucking come on, somebody cry. And I doubt there's gonna be an argument because this wholesome, all wholesome so far. You see how it's not good? How reality television needs drama? I'm itching for it. I just keep bringing up the future selves because it's like, oh, a nice, really expensive bathroom. So glad you guys can afford that. You definitely deserve a television show. Take a look at our incredibly basic yet expensive house. This is upper middle class white MTV cribs because only white people get matching bathrooms. You know what I'm saying? Not because they make more money. It's because we are corny. It's a corny thing to do. A little bit different, smaller. You know, we're this area, so watch your step. This is their room. Black, white, and gray, kind of boyish stuff, so. We're gonna care about the, uh, the black and white theme, like for the girls' room as well. It's like a fun room, something they can grow into eventually. Where's my fucking gun? Gosh, I just wanna fucking blow my brains out. I had a toy gun somewhere. You know what, maybe it's not worth it getting demonetized over. I'm just trying to convey to you that this makes me want to die. I can't believe it's been 20 seconds since I last talked. I'm so sorry. I'm going to try my hardest to not make this terrible. But I will, if it gets super boring, I will take out parts. Don't you worry. I won't make you suffer what I'm about to suffer through. Crack one of little babies. Mateo, Aniko, and Aspen, their little baby pictures. It's our dad's room, so. Kind of did it more towards him, something he would like. Wait, your dad's room? You live with your dad? Wait, this isn't your house. Guarantee it. I'll bet you any amount of money. Guess whose name is on the deed? Daddy! Guess who's paying the mortgage? Daddy! If he did not provide for them like he does, guarantee you they would kill him. Yep, I watch a lot of police interrogations. And these women are psychopaths. Uh, can we have a little group shot? This oh, you want to play? Great, you guys organized all your toys? We're going yeah. to the dungeon, yeah. workout room slash Frank's office. My husband Frank, he's a new up and coming rapper. She's my number one fan. Oh, is he? Why didn't it work out? Couldn't imagine him not making it. He's a new white rapper. Yeah, that's when you start late in life. That's what Eminem did. Come on, buddy. Show us a couple bars. Spit something. I need to hear this. This guy looks like a European version of Billy Ray Cyrus. That's my number two fan. The other one's my number two fan. We met in New York, and you know the rest is history. If you could, you know, do a job that you really love and pay the bills, you find one of the meanings of life right there. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's not really how the saying goes, buddy. I can see why you're picking to be a rapper. He's also talking about it in the future tense. Like he, he is not doing that currently. This guy is on unemployment. And it's more of the saying like, if you like what you do for a living, you won't work a day in your life. But also that just shows me this guy has never done what he wants for a living. Yes, it grants a lot of freedom, but it is also incredibly stressful to have all of your bills riding on creativity. Buddy, you have kids, get a fucking job. Your life is not about you anymore. Oh, I want to be a rapper. Be a dad. I met Gorn in Houston. Yep. Karma. The kid was looking for the opportunity to do that. Texas. He was playing professional soccer. He came from Serbia. And just, it was kind of like a love at first sight kind of thing. Oh, Stacy fucking started the 90 day fiance trend, huh? Wow. He played indoor soccer. What a fucking loser. Bet you that paid big. What does he do now? Now that you have to legally provide for him. Oh, I'm playing for the last 20 years. Just retired right now. I'm trying to become a, a professional coach. He didn't speak any English at the time. Uh, he's trying to become a professional coach. Key word there, everybody's trying. Emphasis on the trying. That means he's not right now. He's doing nothing. At least he's kicking the ball around with his kids. The other dude's in the basement like, I'm a spiritual lyrical miracle. Yeah, I fuck hoes, make my dick grows, hanging with my bros. Like what is, what are you going to rap about? Your hair? I got two kids. Hey, shut up daddy's working, two kids. Hey, I'm doing the ad libs. 
I remember him just saying, hello, my name is Gordon, but he had this really thick accent and I actually thought his name was Gordon. I have my own company called Gordon Vashi Soccer Academy. It's called what? Called Gordon Vashi Soccer Academy. Oh, something Soccer Academy. Because when I first heard it, it sounded like he said, for a bit for me. And I was like, oh, that's a fake business. So he owns a uh, soccer company. Okay. You know, I hate when I'm wrong. Uh, fuck this guy. I won two championships. One in Cleveland in 97 and uh, one in Philadelphia 2001. Oh, that's cool, buddy. You know who doesn't give a shit about that? Oh, everybody in America. Not one person cares. Wrong country. It's literally popular. Everywhere else. I'm going to go get pussy from soccer in America. Nope. We just think that makes you gay. Mm. What? Get it on me. I don't know. We butt heads a lot. Shoot. Don't rip them. I just got such a flashback of them being all bimboed up and her going, shave my ass. Because he's going to eat me out. And Stacy's like, holy fuck. Fake, wholesome, happy family. What we see now is real. They're being the real them. This is incredible. This is like watching a stand-up comedian when they were younger. And if you want to do that, youtube.com slash Mark I post every single set I do. Okay. Things cost $8. What the heck is that, Darcy? It's a footy sock, Stacey. Oh my God. She just tends to always complain or find, find something to, you know, tick me off a little bit, so. I was going to make fun of them for showing the names every single time, but I, I, I need it. Stacy. I, I am... 70, 83% sure that's Stacy. Got a little pouting thing. You always buy her shoes two sizes small anyway. Stacy and I are getting ready. Learn some that today. <laughs> okay, it was Darcy. Whoa, dude. <laughs> I was being dead ass serious. <laughs> God, if I have kids and they're twins, I'm fucked. Wait, which one are you again? For a big appearance on the Today Show with Kathy Lee and Hoda. Yes, we So have. Darcy and Darcy Stacey, and Stacey. I figured why not do double duty with twins? With twins. Oh, yes! And they actually have their own reality show coming what? out. So. You think NBC News would have them on today? Huh? Wow, look at how they're dressed. No titties. Because they'd be on the Today Show showing everything but their nipples. They'd be like, this is our fashion line. We stole the idea. Somebody made a video about how they steal designs and shit. I'm going to make a video about it. What do you guys think? Are they good looking women? They're, they're better looking in comparison to what they are now. But, I mean, I'd fuck them. But, like, would I actively try to? No. But if they're like, hey, buddy, you want to take a crack at this shit? I'd be like, let's go, dog. Hell yeah, homie. Today we're going to do the Terrence J event for the 106 and Park Toys for Tots. We bumped in free. Oh, they think they're so hot. She's like, I'm fierce. Kitty got claws. She's got a strong jaw. Jesus Christ, she should do the slap contest. She doesn't give blow jobs, she gives blow careers. Holy shit. It's weird seeing her face with right angles and now it's just all round. Yeah, yeah, but can you tell the funny jokes? What's harder, you know? That's not that impressive. No, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. But like, it, it's cool, like, if that's what they're there to do, right? If everybody's in agreement. But if we're just like at a bar and that starts happening, I'm gonna be like, fucking stop. Somebody, please. This is technically a terrorist attack. Stacy and I are getting ready for our first music video. It should be exciting and fun, good experience. And we've met an amazing person, Chris Taylor from the New York Giants. And he has cancer. For every, you know, scar that he has, he covers up with a tattoo. He was just a great person to know and meet. And, um, you know, we wish him all the best. Oh, that's cute. Look at you guys on the casting couch. What kind of music video is it? Hmm? I like how they just threw in that he had cancer for no fucking reason. Like, were we supposed to feel bad for him being okay now? Being a successful guy who played for the New York Giants, is that what they said? Oh, boo-hoo, he's okay. And music video for what? Were they doing music this early on? Seeing them dance was gay. Dancing is so weird to me, because it's like, it's you're just moving body parts, you know? Like, everybody could do that motion. Just not the whites. We're not, I don't know how to do things. If there's music, I will dance like this. I, I, I do want to leave, yes.
Tonight we're going to the Sachika Twins birthday party and fashion show. We're so excited. We love those girls. And twins have a baby! Did it hit you guys as fast as it hit me of, oh my God, they modeled themselves after these girls. I haven't seen these girls' personalities enough yet, but I think my deep intuition on that is correct. Oh, they're doing a fashion show. They're twins. Looks like they got fake tits. Looks like they're successful. Pretty easy model to follow. We'll always do anything for them. Thank you, girls. I love me. saw their show, it was unbelievable. Their fashions are amazing. Yeah, it's really hard to say if it's amazing or not because it looks like shit, but this was also 13 years ago. So they're trying to find the trend for what was popular 13 years ago. And I was 14. The coolest thing I wore by the age of 14 was a Nintendo GameCube t-shirt and I got made fun of for it and never wore it again. We're on our way to do our first photo shoot with James Kriegsman. We're really excited to see our new shots and see how they come out. For what? What are you shooting for? Who, are you models? No. Do they have House of Eleven already? We wanna get our headshots done because we think we could be models. Yet they changed their entire look in the future. Not a lot of confidence in it, huh? Sounds like it didn't pan out very well. I'm sure they'll make it seem like it did though. Dude, they got so much work done. These bitches got no titties. These women are built like two by fours. How much more do you think they weigh now? They look so dense. So I have a great a thing for you guys to do today, which is to meet with an amazing, amazing casting agency. An amazing, amazing casting agency, okay. Oh, who do they work for? TLC, 90 Day Fiance. It's gonna be great for your careers. <laughs> Darcy, you're gonna have an OnlyFans one day. It's not out yet, but you're gonna show pussy on the internet. She didn't show her vagina. I did do a review on it. Can that video get to 100,000? Is that possible? It's at 56,000, it's still fucking good. Watch it again. Also, does anybody else on the cast have an OnlyFans? Not Larissa, I've seen her. Hers is, she's gone full porn. It's awesome. Called Matchbook Company. Hi, I'm Stacy, casting director of Matchbook Company. It's great to meet you. you. Bet you Matchbook Company doesn't exist anymore. I'd look it up, but I'm just gonna assume I'm right. Well. <laughs> we work with a lot of fashion and beauty brands, helping them find the next face for their campaign. And we're always looking for up and comers, fresh faces, and people with a lot of edge and a different look that can really bring a personality to a brand. Oh yeah, look at all this edge. Look at this personality. What a great outfit. Man, they really took her advice to heart, huh? They went full edge, always edging. Like they're just too normal, you know? They're on the cusp of not being normal. Just about a thousand cc's away. Definitely, uh, I want to send you guys on some go-sees to some clients, would be awesome. Yeah. That's what I have. We're going to Med Spa 1064 with Dr. J. We're so excited. <laughs> Good to see you. We're changing the show. You? Beautiful yes. twin. They put this guy's grandkids through college. Little does this guy know a gold mine just walked in. It's like drilling in the ground and having oil squirt out. Except then you'd get drone struck by the US Army. Oh, and they're both wearing fedoras. Yeah, kill them both. You know what he should do while he puts them under? Steal one of their kidneys. That happened to a bitch. She went to go get a BBL in a different country because it was cheaper. Woke up, missing kidney. Is that true? Probably not, but I did see it on Twitter. We're gonna be getting thermage done. And what thermage does, it's a way to introduce heat through the skin and, and try to get that collagen to tighten like this. This is where it all begins, baby. You know how it makes your face tight? Yeah, you guys should get fake tits. Why do you think that, Doc? Well, I personally like them. <laughs> Big fan. <laughs> it would be great for your guy's career, trust me. Give somebody something to look at, because it's definitely not their faces. Fucking Darcy looks like Crimson Chin. 
It was amazing. We feel so refreshed and new and youthful and young again. My relationship with my father is very important. <laughs> <laughs> That abrupt transition was so fucking funny to me, dude. That's like when a comedian's on stage and he's like, yeah, dude, I jerk off way, way too much. Dude, I love porn. Yeah, so. I was at the store with my mom yesterday and we're like, what the fuck? Guys! He's just a very dedicated and, you know, hard hardworking person. So Stacy and I just kind of want to emulate him and make him proud of what we do and where we go in, in life. Spill the beans. He pays for everything. Say it, because what do you do? What are you doing, huh? We're selling ads on your Facebook campaign? I get they're getting paid for the TV show, but this house is fucking huge, and nobody in this house works except for the foreign guy. Can't even say his business's name right. I'm proud of them as children and as a parent, and uh, you know, I think it's, uh, I'm here to help them as best I can. Yeah, let's interview him now. Hmm? You, uh, you a proud father now, huh? You proud of these cock demons? If this is the first time you're seeing them and hearing me say that, you're like, whoa, no way, look at these wholesome moms. Wait till you see these walking glory holes now. Absolute koozies. To a point. Everything he has done, he has done in honor of our brother. Uh, Michael passed away um, in 98 from Ewing sarcoma. Any issues or stress or problems that I encounter in business won't be anywhere close to the fight that he fought. Yeah, this isn't the drama I was talking about. Because I'm going to be real with you. We don't give a shit. At least I don't. What is this ad to? Oh, he died. Okay. Yeah. Where's your wife? <laughs> like, yeah, he died, but you have two daughters. I'm just Josh, and that's tragic. He died from whatever he, they said. They should explain it, at least, if they're going to fucking tell me about it. That's impossible to Google. Weird how they've never brought him up in the new show. Surprised they don't sell merch with him on it saying, rest in peace. The best brother in the whole wide world. You know, we couldn't have asked for another brother. When Jasmina was diagnosed, um, January 09, people said like, oh, leukemia, nowadays, very treatable. What the fuck is happening? What are they, what, what's going on? Why are we doing this? This is a wholesome show. We're talking about leukemia? This was all filmed in the same day they're wearing the fucking same outfit. If this is making you sad, just keep in mind, Darcy asked Stacy to shave her ass. And then you like do your research and there's a lot of people who pass away. And it's not so treatable because there's so many different complex type, types of leukemia. So it's, it's way more complicated than people think. Can you tell us a little bit about, um, you know, if we were to ever donate bone marrow, how do we go about that? Oh, it's just, uh, it's just like taking blood. Okay. It's not because they extract it from the blood. How many times do you guys think they donated bone marrow. Less than once? Nah, they probably did it one time. Definitely less than three. These aren't very giving bitches. Unless it's on TV. You think she would have asked if the cameras weren't there? Because we have the superpower of hindsight. We get to see what these women are actually turning into. The most selfish pigs on earth. Oink, oink. Was that gay? <laughs> My dick is shaped like a pigtail. Okay. So sad when you see, you know, little kids sick, you know, and fight for those kids, you know? Yeah, that's what it's about, that's really. It's... We're getting ready for Thanksgiving. Who edited this? Terrible job. What are the standards? You got paid for this? I mean, I hate the transitions of just showing cars passing by, but this is so abrupt. It's like a roller coaster ride when you don't see turns coming. Okay, what's the problem? I was doing it. I asked you for a favor. I was doing it. I was doing it. We're really excited to share it with the family and friends. Wow, family and friends that we will never see again. You think Michael's going to be there, the guy with the blue hair? Huh, remember? They're brothers, they're sisters, they're family. He thinks of them as goddesses. All of these people in this family fucking hate them now and probably did at this time as well. God, I just wanted to tip that fucking cup. She's more like her, her brother. Darcy's Darcy. Oh my God, that's the fucking mom? Holy shit. I see why they don't bring her around or show pictures of her in the house or in the new show. Because every guy's going to see her and go, oh, that's what you're going to turn into? Whoa. I wonder if Darcy and Stacy would be that fat now if they weren't getting liposuction. Probably not that fat. But uh, are they sure that's the mod? That does not look, they look nothing like her. This bitch has no cheekbone. Well, she probably ate her cheekbones. <laughs>
I'm the pickiest eater on earth. Surprise, it doesn't look like it, but seeing that just made me so disgusted. Oh, I got turkey, this ham. I'm such a texture eater. And turkey, why would you ever eat turkey? Why? If it's not Thanksgiving, is chicken not just a better turkey? You're making a compromise. I think it's very vital to rock on rock. That's rock on top. Here we go. Sorry, I was just trying to will myself to death. I was like, maybe if I just think really hard about dying, it'll happen. I'm sorry, I need to hear that again. I think it's very vital to rock on rock. That's rock on top. Here we go. You beatboxing? That what? It didn't rhyme. <laughs> Are you fucking retarded? He's gonna make it. If he became a successful rapper, I will simply kill myself. We were yeah. close, especially yeah. all of us kids. It was almost like we were all one family, immediate family. And you guys aren't around anymore. And that's exactly how Michael refers to them. I bet you these bitches just move group to group and they just don't know that they're the problem. Here we are at Native Studio. About to do the Twin Life soundtrack with Frank Lucas. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot, son. You can drop these bars. Please show this. Please, God. If there's a God, he will show this to me. Yeah, I like the background. That's what she means by the background. She likes that. The chorus, the guy, the professional. What a fucking insult. Oh, when your guy stops and the other guy goes, that's pretty good. He's, he's a part of something that's good. He does take it down quite a bit. If they just muted all of him. In essence, with their presence, simply setting the pace. Scanning can repent and as they enter the place. With their God nationwide, they truly yeah. Taking pride by the side, coast to coast. When I tell her, I mean every single quote. It's all about the girls, because I meant what I wrote. Throw them a parade, let them have their own float. We're gonna, we gonna do a lot of good in the world, right, Aspen? You could do a lot of good in the world, right, Aspen? Yeah, mommy's getting triple D tits. <laughs> Could've donated that money, huh? How'd you justify that purchase? The rockin' iced out Rolexes. Doing a lot of good. Rockin' blood diamonds. <laughs> Where they coming from? Everybody wanna know. Everybody wanna know how they got their own show. It is what it is. So we're really blessed. Okay, come here. And just take pride in what we have and so that one day, you know, we can you know help others. Shut up, bitch. What is with this underlying tone of oh, we're gonna help the world? That's why we deserve to make all this money. It's like they're trying to stop people from saying they don't deserve the cash. We're giving it away. We're like Robin Hood. Is that the guy who stole from the rich and gave to the poor? Or is that is Robin Hood Batman's gay partner. I also have to chime in with, uh, this song sucks cocks. This guy, if he ever goes to a show, right when he starts, deserves to get sucker punched. Just mollywopped, jumped by a bunch of homies. God, I would just love to see him being kicked in the ribs by Timberlands. Not the limo, everybody wanna stare. Lights, camera, action, near the heart of Times Square. Yeah. You know, they probably heard him doing this. They're like, we could do this better. It's funny that they rap now, and it's worse. It's worse than that. I made a video about it. I can't believe I waited to see the credits for some reason, yet I'm so glad I did. What the fuck does that say? Executive producer, Mike Silva, their father, their dad's fronting the bill for this show? He's producing the show. This cuck is interviewing himself on his own show. What a fucking loser. He's like, I need to make an ROI on these kids somehow. Who came up with this idea? It was probably the twins. Dad, please just think about our future. It's going to be so good for us. How many Instagram followers do you think they bought? Yeah, seeing the producer thing blew my fucking mind. Isn't it weird? The difference of how they acted like they were back then. That was all an act. All the wholesomeness, all that shit. They're like, oh, we got to stop being fake for the camera if we're going to do this for 13 years. Because you could fake one day. They were wearing the same outfits pretty much the whole time, except for showing the couple of times they were like out at like the fashion shows and stuff. Because we've seen them now acting like how they truly are. Being their full selves. Pieces of shit. What a 180. I wish I saw this 13 years ago. I wonder if I would have got the vibe of like, oh, they're going full bimbo. Oh, these people are never going to talk to them again. 
They're gonna kill their kids. Comment down below what you guys thought. Sorry if portions of that was boring. It's totally their fault. I did leave all of it in though. I think it's gonna be good to us and interesting to see just because we've seen so much of them now. And it's just fascinating. It's like a whole, it's a different person. It literally is. When you watch this episode, you come away with a different judgment than you do if you watch like a season premiere of Darcy and Stacy. Fascinating women. I'm so glad this has been documented. Thank you so much for watching and listening everywhere. I appreciate you guys so much. Yeah, episode two of the Patreon podcast is going to be coming out soon. Probably going to be filming it in the next coming couple days. Patreon is the best way to directly support because YouTube fucking hates swears, dude. That's why most YouTubers like mute and bleep out swears. When I hear a bleep noise, I genuinely get so pissed off. Like, I know what you're saying. I don't get how that works. And I don't get why swears are bad. There's a kids app and these videos are marked not for children. Swears are good. They're good describing words. And I also would never censor myself for money. That does go against everything I believe in. So if I've ever made you laugh and you want to help support this channel and fight back against YouTube's cute little swear policy, patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. But if you can or don't want to, I totally understand. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep that algorithm going, baby. Let's get to 100K. I wonder how soon we could do that, dude. Definitely, I want to do it by the end of the year. Okay, I fucking love you guys. Mwah.